Hey guys, Kel here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be Town Hall 12 v, v Town Hall 13 Mismatch Attack. We're going to be going for a 2 star here. Uh, we do have our heroes this time. So it isn't like the last one where we didn't have heroes, meaning that it'll be a little bit easier for us to get this three, uh, 2 star. Um, so, if we look at the base right now, uh, we want to see what will be difficult to get and what will be easy. Um, what will be easy is, of course, things on the outside. What will be difficult is right here. So we need to make sure that we use our jump spell, probably right where that circle was, jumping right here uh, to get in there. And we need wall breakers here and here to get in there. We also need one right here. It's so only three wall breakers. We're bringing eight because we don't want to change our comp because we're lazy. But uh, other than that, we're just going to be moving around we just need uh, a few invisibility spells it looks like we probably would want one right here right here right here and right here being the four we have plenty so we can probably use a few more around the other sides of the base to save on sneaky goblins to get uh the percentage so uh now we have to worry about what we want to send our uh siege machine into and I think probably this corner right here, if we send it right there, we get one, two, three, four, five, six uh, non-loop-bearing uh, structures. So we get a lot of value out of our seed machine there. So that's a quick overview. It looks like we won't be triggering this clan castle if we send uh, sneaky goblins around the outside. So we won't be too worried. We'll use a few early on in the raid. Specifically right here, uh, we'll send the two, two, to essentially take away these loot structures to make it so our uh, siege machine will get even more value. Dropping our siege machine here, and we'll also drop our warden. Looking good. I'm deciding whether or not it's worth holding onto the warden uh, to go into the base later with the sneaky goblins rather than having it go with this kill squad uh not too sure because for the most part i don't think it really matters um having the warden with the queen makes it so that the queen gets a little bit more protection can get a little bit more value uh but having the warden as like this beast that can take out some uh percent later in the raid uh is also pretty cool I think so I'm gonna activate right here mostly to save the wizard and also save uh, our Queen's ability here so uh, wizard gonna go down and then our Queen ability is gonna pop I'm gonna take out a little bit more of the loot here uh, as she eventually goes down so we're going to now start sprinkling around the outside messed up right there but that's fine we have plenty of sneaky goblin I'm gonna drop one wall breaker there, drop two to take out that collector, one to take out that collector, one at each, and uh, let's see here, we're gonna go like that, now we're gonna go two, we're already at 50%, that was really quick, probably because of how much value we did get out of our Queen, Warden, and Clan Castle. Uh, I'm gonna take that out, which means now all we have to really worry about is uh, the, uh, the Town Hall, so Let's just do that. Gonna drop two sneaky goblins there. Oop, it looks like we're gonna be hit. Oh, gonna block that. Use an invisibility spell. Probably shouldn't have done that because we lost a sneaky goblin already. So it's gonna slow down our progress. Uh, but we're gonna trigger some traps. Because this is not Town Hall 14, we don't have to worry about time when it comes to the poison bomb going off. Uh, because the bomb will just go off and then it'll be over. We don't have to kind of sit through the cutscene. So we're going to come in and drop our invisibility spell. Take out this down hall. Pretty simple. And boom. That's going to go out. And now we'll go straight into this final piece right here. And drop our invisibility spell. Drop it again. It looks like we are going to get there. Nice. Um, and now we'll just sprinkle around the outside. We don't have a lot of time, so we'll just do this for a percent. We already did what we needed to do. All percent uh, is extra, and CWLs usually don't come down to percent. So 
the stars are really all that matter. And we do get the two star on the Town Hall uh, 13 V11. So this is what you should be doing, or V12? Town Hall 12, yeah. Town Hall 12 V13. So I hope you guys did learn how to take down this base or use the Sneaky Goblins effectively. Um, what is our next army? It looks like we have enough for our next army, so we'll be doing another Sneaky Goblin uh, attack tomorrow. Um, and after that, we might do some Electro Dragons, because I'm starting to get an Electro Dragon kick. And they're fun, and they're easy, and they're powerful. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.